Good morning. I just want to come on to a little Facebook Live real quick. I, I'm just in a real difficult situation. Um, many of you know that I work on equal parenting. And uh, this morning I, I, uh, I had a prove up before a judge in Conroe, Judge Jack Riley. And uh, my children's mother, she's, she's uh, agreed to do equal parenting. We came up with an order together. Um, signed it. Pretty standard procedure, according to the Attorney General's office and actually to several other, other parents that I know. Uh, when you come up with a agreed order, uh, you file it and generally the, the judge signs it, unless there's something that's just way off the chart or something like that. And uh, anyways, so we thought this was going to be a pretty uh, basic thing. We had a court hearing this morning and both the judge and the Attorney General's office said, no, we're not going to do this equal parenting order for you. You can't do it. Um, and told us basically you need the attorney general's signature on there to be able to get this equal parenting order. And, you know, the frustration is we've called the attorney general's office and they said, no, we don't sign these orders. Uh, they sent me an email said we don't sign these orders. And in fact, uh, the attorney general's office was even surprised that the uh, judge was even going to do a hearing for this because generally you, you file it and the judge signs it. Or if there's something, you know, crazy, they'll, they'll maybe have do something later. But in my case, and I, I believe this is retaliation, um, I've, I've been working with Equal Parenting Movement for, for a number of years now, and I've been pretty outspoken. And uh, there is no question in my mind right now that if I was just an average parent that they would have signed that document this morning. But instead, they're dragging this out and trying to just put me through the meat grinder. And that's not right. When government gets so big and so powerful that they can treat some citizens and some people differently than others, that's not right. And right now, that's what we got going on in our government. Um, so anyways, just frustrated. My, my children's mother, equally frustrated. Um, just ask everybody to respect her privacy and stuff too. But she's with me on this. Uh, we're going to beat this thing. I've already talked to uh, um, some legislators and, and asked for some help. Um, there isn't a lot that they can do, but uh, if they can connect me with the right people to talk to, uh, my children and mother and I just want to move on. We're, we're so tired of this. We're tired of going to court. I spoke with her last night, and, and I said, man, I hope this is the last time. Um, but uh, uh, anyways, I just wanted to share everybody what I'm going through just to get an equal parenting order in Texas. Just because two parents agree, it doesn't mean you're going to get it. So we're going to continue working on it. I'm so proud of my, my children's mother. Uh, working with me on this and, and we talked a little bit last night like I said and, and just shared some of the, the good things we're seeing with our kids about this and so much less stress for my for my children's mother and I too so I'm really proud of her and uh, we're gonna we're gonna beat this thing but just want to share this information and get it out there